hello everybody and welcome back to my learning space so i'm just going to quickly take you through the song i think for the most part you'll definitely understand it easily so sorry you just caught me in my pjs i just wanted to say thank you to zuko michael who requested the song Memutuadi by judith sapoma thank you so much i always appreciate your requests and also i'd like to let you know about cordy app Cordy app is an amazing application that you can use to figure out some of the chords that you're playing especially if you're trying to learn piano and more specifically jazz piano you know when you're trying to find different chord combinations sometimes you may not know what to name a chord or you know if you transcribe the chord maybe you play it when you play it on Cordy app Cordy app will be able to tell you exactly what it is and perhaps you just want to make a YouTube jazz piano tutorials Cordia will be the perfect application for that if you look in my description below you will find the link to Cordia app if you've got $25 to spare to really boost your channel or your playing definitely have a look in the description below thank you guys for watching and back to the video so it starts on chord one uh which i just made a major chord one which is a major add two there we have b flat major seven but i'll just change it to the six because the melody does that and then we have a sus chord c sus 13 Here, is, here we have a chord 6 with the ninth, and I added a passing step here which is the diminished to chord 6 here we have chord 3 Have a D flat major seven, which goes to sus to C seven. Yeah, I just want to quickly talk about this song. I know some people may analyze it a little differently, but um, I see it as it being a borrowed chord from F harmonic minor. So, so if I have this is F harmonic minor quarterly. That's how I see it. I just see it as a borrowed chord six chord, which comes down to the chord five. And here, this is just a suspended one. So you could do like four over one or two over one. Uh, and then it goes into the A section. Same chords as the beginning. Another added chord goes back to chord six, which is it's actually the same thing that's happening in the intro. This chord three, you can make it an A minor seven, or but because the melody is on F, it's probably a chord one over three in the bass. So if so, if tried with add nine, but with the third in the bass. flat major seven da, da, da. 
C sus goes to D minor and then does the same thing. This A flat major 7 is a related chord to F major by virtue of them being a minor third apart. Chords with minor third uh, chords that are minor third apart have relationships. That's why A flat major works so well in this situation. Mm -hmm. 